Hey there, West up here with Dub Development and Consulting. So recently we've looked at some of the strengths, the weaknesses, and really the strong points that, that Ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson added as founding fathers for our nation. And this all came on the heels of something I did a number of years ago about George Washington and what our founding fathers really did and how we could pull those leadership lessons, those character lessons, if you will, and apply those today in our organizations. What we're gonna do here, is we're going to take a look way back before there was ever a football team that's getting national attention of do they make a bowl game do they not are they eligible to compete in their conference championship are they not we're going to look at where there was um, a guy named james madison and what he did before there was a college before there was a football team but what he really did to add value as a founding father so we're going to start by looking at how he was picked and, and, and got the term father of the constitution then we're going to dig into some of the character and and the strengths that Madison brought to the table. He and he and Thomas Jefferson were really close, but I'm going to touch on some things that he did that might have been a notch above where he sought collaboration or even compromise in some cases, as opposed to undermining his adversaries, his political adversaries, if you will. We're also going to look at, hey, he had some clear weaknesses, his physical stature being one of them, his personality, his temperament, the way he carried himself in large groups, the way he compensated for those. And he was still one of probably the most effective and had one of the most um, winningest records as a founding father. And then we're going to tie it all together by applying it back to what you and I can do on a routine basis as we lead our teams to be effective, to, to really make an impact. And, and you know, we're not setting the, the foundation for a nation, at least we're, we're not yet. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. But um, the fact of the matter is we can still apply some of the things that these founding fathers did to make ourselves better, to make our teams better and make an impact on the people around us. Now, wherever you're accessing this, I challenge you to take a look at the tool that we've got. It's a, it's a short video quiz where I'm going to walk you through a couple of questions and really help guide you to understand what are the things that are killing the profitability in your organization. What I promise you is it probably boils down to leadership in one way or another. And, and it's just a matter of connecting the dots. And based on your responses and, and where you're at right now in your role and what you're facing, it'll land you on one of a couple different pages that will really say, hey, this might be the next best step for you to take. Maybe it's a, a low cost or a no cost um, um, option that we offer that really helps get the process started. Maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation that we can have and talk about what, what can we do, Cindy and I, as, as a team to serve you individually or maybe even your entire team. And let's talk about that to make sure it's a good fit because we've got a lot of resources out there, but none of that matters if it's not the right fit for where you're at right now. So hopefully this, um what you're about to go through on James Madison serves you, but hopefully the other tools serve you as well. And look forward to seeing and hearing your feedback. Make it a great day and God bless.